a front headlock. I'm standing in front of my opponent and I reach out and I grab because I don't want to shoot. Shooting is a, it takes a long time to understand how to shoot. It really does. You know, so a lot of times you won't want to commit to shooting for a shot. You won't want to bring yourself in. But what you will do is you'll bring your hands out and you'll grab the opponent's head. That's why we do Greco so much in here. Because generally that's what people do. Especially for jujitsu, they grab and then they fall down and they start looking for the open guard. So this position, the front head lock. I'm going to get Mike, I'm going to have my opponent's head down and then I'm going to pull them until their knees get to the ground in this position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put whatever hand I'm encircling with, that knee is going to come up and it's going to go behind their tricep and then I'm going to bring my hand out and I'm going to transfer to this position. When you go to this position, a lot of times this person being uh, physically stronger than you and not understanding jujitsu, they're going to reach out and grab it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cross my feet here. Now that my feet are crossed, I have this person cut down. They don't have as much strength. If they get their hands together and they run you down, I mean, that's a part of fighting. But usually, I can keep this person with my feet crossed at bay, especially if I bring my hand to their wrist. But what you're going to look to do is we're going to do a crucifix position. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to grab this hand, this wrist, this hand's going to come out. I'm going to put my toes on the ground. And then I'm going to roll. I'm going to bring them over. When I bring them over, we've done this before. Now I'm looking to get a choke, but it's hard to do because I'm controlling this wrist and I'm out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the leg that's on the top over the head. And I'm going to make a figure four in this position. Mike will tell you this is already really uncomfortable really uncomfortable. So I can finish this just by squeezing or I come up and I get a hold of the arm. When I have a hold of the arm, I put it behind and I get them in an arm lock. So one more time. The best part about this, this guy is really in trouble. Okay, it, This is a terrible position to be in. So one more time. So start standing up. So when you work with your opponent, start standing up. You snap them down. I bring their knees to the ground. Now I put my knee behind their tricep. I don't let go of the front headlock. And then I let go. And when my knee is behind the tricep, that's when I let go. So I'm here like this. Bring my knee behind the tricep. And I switch. I grab the wrist. A lot of times they'll grab my leg, but if they don't, I'll scoop their arm up. I put both of my feet on the ground and I roll. Put my foot over the head. If you can finish them here, that's good. But you might need to transfer and go to an arm lock. Regardless, this guy is uncomfortable. That's the whole idea. And a lot of times, if you can't get this arm, they're so strong that they break their, and they roll over. I still have a really tight triangle, and I can just keep pulling them back and keep looking for the arm. Let's go.